day 29 of making a comic. My name's Chris. If you don't know, I'm an illustrator from Melbourne, Australia, and I'm currently working on a comic book called Nevermorrow. Thanks for joining me again uh, for all you guys watching these videos. Um, been a busy day. Just realized also before that I've officially reached the three, mu three week mark on these videos, which is pretty cool. I'm nearly at a month and looking back from when I started all this, I've made a fair amount of progress. Not as much as I'd like, but a fair amount. You know, obviously little bits and pieces get in the way and blah, blah, blah. But I'm five pencil pages in. Um, I'm nearly ready to get started on the inks. Uh, the, the wording's all done, nearly all done. Um, it's been a pretty good journey so far. Uh, I thought I'd show you guys some actual stuff today. I mean, yesterday we went through all the prices and stuff, which is sort of boring math crap. Today I want to show you guys some pages. So take it away, Chris. Thanks, Chris. So these are, this is my folder for Nevermore up here. If you can see that. Um, as you can see, I'm going to blow this up a bit. Whoa! Okay, so we um, don't need to see too much of that. There's, uh, there's writing and stuff. Um, so, page one pencils, page two, three, uh, come on, there we go, four, something bad's happening. And currently page five, which I am currently inking at the moment, and if I hit the, oh, hang on, I'll show you there, there you go. Bad stuff's happening, oh, spaceship. So that's where it's at. Now, if I continue on scrolling down, there we go, and you can see all the thumbnails, so all blown up on the computer screen. Some of these still need to be changed because I made some changes while I was writing them, but uh, pretty exciting. Oh, look, running and stuff, woo. So it's coming along quite nicely. Yep, and there's the th folder. So there you go, whole bunch of uh, concept work in there too. For you guys who haven't seen it, I haven't really shared much of this with you guys. Most of it's only on the Patreon, so you can check that out. That was some uh, logo design there, uh, some thumbnailing, uh, some scanning and stuff, um, and the spaceman, which I think you guys have seen as well. Here we go. Whoa, space! I think that's the logo. Yes, that's the finished logo. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, old logo which never got used. Um, more thumbnails, these are some of the original thumbnails that I did. Um, yeah, fair amount of stuff there. So, yeah, ooh, and that was a pinup I was working on, but I've scrapped that as well. I'm back! Well, I was always there, I was just behind the camera. But I'm back! Hope you enjoyed that. That's some of the stuff that's been, uh, I'm working on. Finally, um, I feel stupid for not having shown you guys earlier. Uh, but now there's, at least there was a chunk there that you can check out. Um, of course, if you jump onto my Patreon, you can get um, more of that. I'll be posting the thumbnails for each, or not the thumbnails, the, the finished pencils for each page on there for people to check out. Uh, I might even be throwing up some story elements and things. I will hold back though on the, uh, the lettering, so the final, final pages. I don't want to give away all that stuff for you guys. So I will be inking the letters in traditionally, but once I scan them in and put them on Patreon, I'll be blocking all that out not to ruin it for you guys. Although, if I do my job properly, you'll probably be able to tell the story based on just the imagery alone. Uh, but of course, the writing and the, the art goes hand in hand as well with comics. Um, and there'll be a whole lot of stuff in the comic, um, like the short story and the concept art that you won't, you know, won't get. There'll be a lot of stuff hidden from Patreon as well. Um, but for the most part, you know, they'll get a full focus of you know, what's happening. Um, yeah, sorry, it's your leg. It's your leg. I always have itchy legs in these videos. They're probably mozzies or something. Yeah, it's, it's the wet, well, sort of the wet season. It's, uh, as I was probably complaining a lot in the past week, it's just been so hot. It has not stopped raining today. Uh, it's a lot cooler, but it's still muggy. Uh, so there's mozzies around and flies and shit. And frustrating. Um, but it looks like it's cooling down. It looks like autumn's on its way. Thank God. Uh, I'll sick of summer. Um, so Kev, you can have your summer back. Give me your winter, that'd be great. Uh, I think that's it for day 29, day 30 tomorrow, uh, which makes it Friday, uh, my last day of the week too. 
get a whole chunk of work done. Sunday looks like I'll be going to the city to catch up with a few mates for a sketch session. Uh, Saturday I'm working, um, so it's going to be a pretty full on weekend. But of course I'll try and get as much in as I possibly can. Uh, but tomorrow, um, unless my client get back to me, it'll be a full slog on the book. Um, yeah, today was hectic. Like I had a class to teach today. Um, first class back after a long hiatus. Uh, but that was fun. Um, I get to do some pa acrylic painting in there, so that you know, gets me all invigorated. Uh, we studied perspective today, um, which was fun because I've been doing a lot of it uh, with the comics lately. Um, that and yeah, just the client work. So all that client work's been sent off, and now I uh, am waiting to hear back. So we'll just see what happens. Um, otherwise, plenty of pages. I reckon I could probably finish page six tonight. Page five is done now, um, as you saw. So page six. I'll probably do tonight. Um, if I can, I'd like to get um, four pages penciled tomorrow, I reckon. Four? Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, I've got the daily sketch as well. That always takes a little bit of chunk of time, um, but I'm enjoying them. Um, I'm also thinking of putting them up as prints on my Big Cartel website. Excuse me. Um, let me know what you think. Um, I don't know whether I want to do a single print or maybe just do like sort of a mashup print where it's got you know, all the monsters on one print. Um, and then sort of like maybe like a little logo or something, you know, daily sketch, blah, 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 in the middle or, um, yeah, yeah, sort of Brady Bunch-esque design, I don't know. That's sort of what I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to sort of sell some prints online. Um, yeah, just sort of a bit of a passive income. Um, no one sort of mentioned that they want to buy them, but unless I put them on there, maybe people won't. Uh, and if I put them on for a limited time as well, there might be a bit more enticement there. Um, I find when people know that there's always you know, there's something's going to be available all the time, they're more likely going to be like, oh, I'll get it next time, you know, then they forget about it, they don't bother. If I just chuck it up for like one week um, and then advertise it, you know, every other day, um, there's more likelihood that they'll purchase a print um, and also do a limited run. Uh, I, I, I don't like the idea anymore of just having constant prints, you know, the same print over and over and over again. I want to do limited runs of maybe say 20 to 30 uh, and then that's it, that's the cutoff. So not only does it mean um, more demand, um, but I can also charge a higher price because they'll never be printed again as well. They'll all be signed and numbered too. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, I'd prefer it. I don't know if you guys would. Leave your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to know what you think. All right. Have a lovely Thursday, Wednesday for you Americanas. Goodbye.